can't even sit in peace. Cause all of these niggas be on you. I'm just saying I can be yeah, one that you call and you talk to, girl. I'll see my way. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to reinstall a lace frontal wig. And I will be honest with you guys, the lace was and still is a little bit on the dark side, but I did figure out how to fix it. And you guys will definitely see later on throughout the video and how I was able to achieve that. And also just a warning, the first three to four minutes, the voiceover part kind of sounds a little crazy as far as the mic goes, but I promise it does clear up and get better as the video goes on but yeah guys without further ado let's get started so starting off as you guys can see there is some leftover glue from the last time I had installed this wig and to take that glue off I'm actually going to be using the end of one of my makeup brushes as you guys can see I'm literally just rolling the end piece of that makeup brush onto the glue itself to basically help remove the glue before i used to use a brush but i feel like doing it this way is 10 times easier and then in a second you guys will see the removal process as well we don't share the same ceiling and fall back been in it before internet had new acts remember get ready on stem and since maybe whack my innocence limited the experience lacked ten of us with no tentative tactic that cracked the mind of a literary writer, but I did it in fact. You admitted it once I submitted it, wrapped in plastic. Remember, scribble and scratch it, diligent sentences back was visited, freestyle ciphers for your reaction. Now I can live in this stadium, pack it the And as you guys can see, all I'm doing is literally just pushing the glue up until the end of the makeup stick handle, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I don't know why I can't think of like the proper word for it. But yeah, you guys see what I mean. But yeah, so it's not super hard whatsoever. I feel like doing it this way is way easier than using like an edge brush or anything like that like I used to use before. Of course, I'm going to be going ahead and washing this hair. And I will say guys, this hair was extremely dry and tingly. So I also did have to do a quick deep conditioning treatment with the silicone mix as well. And then as you guys can see, I'm literally just smothering the whole wig with the silicone mix. Yeah, I'll admit, I was struggling to grip the hair there for a second. I can admit that. <laughs> but as you guys can see, I'm basically just applying the hair into the bag and I'm basically just tying it up nice and tight. And then I'm basically just going ahead and getting everything prepped and ready before I do wash out the silicone mix and to basically get everything set up so I can let the hair dry on the mannequin head afterwards. And then as you guys can see, I'm basically just massaging into the hair. Just brushing through the hair just to make sure I'm getting rid of all the tingles. And then after a couple hours later, I let the hair dry down a little bit. And then as you guys can see, I am using safety pins instead of T-pins. Don't, nobody try to clock me in the comments, okay? I understand. Listen, I stay forgetting to buy a new pack of T-pins. And I literally do not even remember until I actually need them. So I'm like, you know what? I have safety pins, so might as well make it do what it do, you know? So... Yeah, but as you guys can see, the front of the hair is a bit thick, so I'm basically just going ahead and doing some more plucking, basically just to kind of help thin everything out so it's not as bulky in the front. This is the world. 
And then as you guys can see here, I'm basically just parting the wig into four different sections. I personally feel like doing it this way is a thousand and ten percent easier, whether I'm blow drying, straightening, curling, whatever. It's just a lot easier for me to do it this way on the mannequin head itself and then install it. And then as you guys can see, I'm basically just going to be using my heat protectant and then also some argan oil on the hair as well before I decide to blow this hair out. And then as you guys can see, of course, I'm also using a brush as well as I'm blow drying the hair just so the hair is more straightened as it's blown out so I don't have to do as many passes with the flat iron because of course this hair is a deep wave unit but I'm not trying to destroy the curls altogether so the less heat I have to apply on this hair the better as far as straightening it goes. And then as you guys can see, I'm basically just going to be taking my Revlon flat iron and I'm basically just passing it through the hair to help straighten it out. I will say this hair did straighten pretty good, but it doesn't get like bone bone silky straight, at least with the products that I personally use. This hair, I will say definitely ended up kind of giving me the vibes that it was more like a natural hair blowout type of situation and it kind of had more texture to it. So I personally liked how the hair looked, but unfortunately a couple hours later it did revert back, but you guys will see that towards the end of the video. And then I decided to kind of basically just be a little bit extra, which I'm glad I decided to do. <laughs> and I'm basically going to be installing an elastic wig into this hair because as some of you guys may or may not know, I stopped using glue on my wigs, especially since I started my workout journey back in February. So I've been installing elastic bands on a lot of my wigs lately because I just feel like it makes life so much easier. And then as you guys can see earlier, I just had to measure from ear to ear and then I also so reduce an inch because of course you do want the elastic to be a little bit tight so your wig lays flat and then I just had to lay that down on the table measure everything out cut it and then now I'm basically just getting my needle and thread ready to attach the elastic band to the wig itself And then as you guys can see, because this is not the first time I've installed this wig, I already do have the lace pre-cut to the way that it fits my head. And then as you guys can see, I'm basically just putting that elastic band right behind where the ear tab would be. And I'm basically just going to sew the first side of the elastic band. And then of course, I'm going to repeat the same steps on the other side as well. And then of course, once everything's said and done, I just have to cut off the excess needle and thread. So next, of course, I'm going to be applying the wig on my head just to kind of get a feel of how everything looks. And as you guys can see, the hair does still look very, very, very thick as long as far as the hairline goes. And then also, unfortunately, the lace is very much on the dark side. I will tell you guys, I did end up fixing the lace. So you guys will see that later on in this video as well. And as you guys can see, to lay this hair down and help melt it, I'm going to be using the e button 
Ebon, Ebon, I think it's Ebon, but I'm gonna be using the Ebon spray as well on this hair, the Ebon Wander Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. I have personally been loving this product ever since I bought it. And then I'm basically just sitting here waiting for the glue to dry. So of course that's why I just did that awkward dance, but we're just gonna move past that. But now I'm basically just laying everything down once the spray gets tacky. And then of course I'm going to be applying another elastic band around the perimeter of the hair to basically help set everything. And then just to give you guys a heads up as well as to why the hairline is as thick as it is, unfortunately Sanache hair finessed me because it claimed that I was getting a six by six frontal on the product description page but that was definitely not what i received at all as far as the cap construction goes i did go into a lot more detail about this in my tanache hair update video that i have posted over a year ago i believe so i'll leave that in the description box down below if you guys wanted to know a lot more detail on the wig that i'm installing in this video today but long story short over the course of me wearing this wig of course having to cut into the lace here and there and unfortunately this wig has gotten to the point where now i'm able to still wear it as a closure wig thankfully but as a frontal there's basically like no lace like there's literally maybe like a millimeter to two millimeters worth of lace on the side so that's why with this hair it's literally just going to be acting as a closure wig at least in my eyes from now on until i'm not able to use the wig at all anymore as far as the lace goes and then next, of course, I'm going to be using the Lotta Body Foamy Mousse. I have been loving using this product so, 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 so much lately. I feel like it definitely gets the job done. And on top of that, it's not super harsh on the hair either. So I'm basically just applying that onto my hair and re-putting the elastic band on for about 15 minutes. And then once everything's said and done, I'm basically just gonna try to go into my Morphe 35B palette and I'm just gonna try to help lighten that lace. Unfortunately, I wasn't, it, it really didn't do too much of anything, but like I said before, later on in the video, I'm basically just gonna be telling you guys how I ended up fixing it. Whew, I was about to sit up here and take my makeup off and get ready for bed and all this other stuff and then I literally remembered that I was supposed to hop on camera but <laughs> basically this is the finished results I will admit it's not the most perfect blend as you guys can see my lace is obviously darker than my makeup it, to me it was even too dark so that's why earlier I did try to put powder on top of it but for some odd reason it's still dark and mind you, I didn't put anything on this wig as far as like a spray or a powder or anything like that. So I'm confused as to why the lace is so dark. Like was the lace always dark and I just didn't notice? Cause yeah, that's kind of weird to me. So I think the next time I install this wig, I think I'm basically just gonna put like a layer of purple shampoo on the lace itself to see if that helps lighten it. Cause Long story short, as you guys can see, it is a couple days later, and as you guys can see, the lace, it still looks a little bit on the crazy side, but it definitely doesn't look as dark as how it did before. Basically, real quick, I'm just going to tell you guys a quick synopsis of what I did to kind of help lighten the lace even more. So, of course, I uninstalled this hair, rewashed it. Before I did rewash it, I did do a layer of the Shimmer Lights sham Purple Shampoo. I did put a layer all on the lace, kind of like if I was re-bleaching the hair, I just put a thick layer of purple shampoo on top of the lace itself to try to help get rid of some of the brassiness. So I don't know if it's because I actually focused on really like shampooing the lace itself instead of just the hair this time around, or if it was the fact that it was the purple shampoo. But long story short, whatever that was on this hair, whether it was excess product or whether it was because the lace was just extra brassy, I was able to fix it for the most part. As you guys can see, of course, again, I did make this wig 100% glueless. So if I did want to walk around with my hair looking like this, which I highly advise you not to do, you can if you want to, but of course, I like to have my wigs sit, I will say right about here. Yeah, right about here, because I always like to use my four finger trick. Like, I always need to make sure that I have, actually, that needs to get scooted a little bit back more. 
but what I like to do is I like to basically put four fingers here so as long as there's enough space for four of my fingers to fit between my eyebrows and where the lace starts. I am good to go. So that's a trick that I always personally like to use to make sure that my forehead isn't looking too small. I am going to be going in back into my Morphe palette and basically that same shade that I used in the video earlier that you guys saw is the same shade that I'm gonna be using now. But this time around, because of the fact that the lace is lighter, it's a lot easier to color and blend in. I personally feel like this shade of eyeshadow is like the perfect color as far as like the flesh tune type color as you guys can see i'm just putting that powder directly on the lace and i will say it definitely does help blend the lace a lot more let me just zoom in oh that's a little too close but as you guys can see like i said before the lace still is on the dark side but at least this time around like if i were to do a full face of makeup the lace will blend in perfect. Yeah, so that is what the lace is currently looking like. I do have to go in with the hair one more time and probably put another layer of purple shampoo on it again. But it did definitely get lighter. As you guys can see, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Like on camera, I will say it is showing up a little bit more darker than what it actually is in person. Like in person, you can barely tell. Like in person, you can barely tell. And again, if I were to go ahead and use the mousse on it to help lay down the edges even more. It'll be even more perfect. But of course, I basically just wanted to jump on here quick and kind of just show you guys like an update on what I did. So the lace, like I said, even from here, the lace looks pretty darn good. Like it doesn't look super obvious. And on top of that, again, like I said before, this wig is 100% glueless if I decide to wear it glueless. But yeah, from there. But basically guys, this is basically how I revamp my wigs but thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl down below i hope you guys have a great day or evening or whatever time you guys happen to be watching this and i will definitely see you guys in my next one